Ocean Models. The factotums reported a strange energy signature in Gascon's rectory. Did you find anything odd in there? Sounds like a nocturnal shrike. By the gears, how did that thing make it pass our security coils? Is Gascon... Not suspicious at all, is it? A sudden departure followed by a Daedra attack. You're right. I knew Gascon was a conceited slaggard. But consorting with Daedra? I pray it's not true. We need to discover what he has that the Daedra covet. Proctor Luciana might be able to organize a search. She just left to disperse a crowd. I hope you catch Gascon soon. We need to know what he knows immediately. Birds? Not that I'm aware of. He might be tinkering with some kind of avian automaton, but he rarely discusses that sort of thing with me. Why do you ask? Wait, feathers? From a live bird? Unprecedented. As far as I know, no living bird has ever set foot or wing in Clockwork City. And even if they did, they wouldn't last long. Not a lot of worms crawling around here. They do eat worms, right? Fascinating. I've always wanted to see one. Under better circumstances, of course. I'll notify our naturalists once we resolve this situation with Gascon. I'm afraid not. Gascon keeps his own counsel about what he does outside the basilica. If you want to panic, do so in your own homes, not in the public square. Now disperse, or be dispersed. Get them moving. You heard the Proctor. Return to your homes. If you're looking for Lord Set, I don't know where he is. I will find out, though. Count on it. Gascon, what has he done now? I can't keep up with the complaints. Good. Maybe a fabricant ate him. Our luck has to change at some point. So, he finally graduated from corrupt hobbyist to professional villain. I'm almost relieved. Now we can finally give him what he deserves. I assume you informed your sponsor, Provost Varuni? A citywide search? I can't spare enough apostles to search a broom closet. Reports are flooding in from the radius. Stories about fanatics in black robes, pale-skinned Daedra, living shadows. We may have a full-scale invasion on our hands. Hmm. I have one asset I can spare. I know an artificer, Dalimar. He takes some getting used to, but you won't find a better tinkerer. He can help you find Gascon. Guaranteed. Go talk to him. He set up shop near the tenements. Slag town. I knew that's... Forester in need of some extra gold. Well, well, look at you, all full of fleshy bits. Not a scrap of brass on you, is there? That won't do, that will not do. I can fix you up, no bother at all. Maybe new feet. You need new feet, don't you? A missing person? 
How mysterious. You wouldn't be looking for Sotha Seal, would you? I hear rumours, you know. All kinds of rumours. Something about him turning into a crow. Or was it a frog? Never mind. Luciana did you a favour. I have just the thing. Whoa! Cool those cogs, you twitchy rascal. This little scrap heap should do the trick. Meet Snuffler, the tracking Nix. <laughs> there he goes! I just replaced his leg springs, so try to keep up! Does he ever come out? He concerns himself with the divine metronome. Beyond simple understanding, unheeding of the life oceans that we tread upon. But shouldn't he help us back? <laughs> Visitors! Useless. What are you doing nosing around here with that ugly beast? Your Neef and I haven't done nothing. Chancellor who? Oh, you mean that brass-assed fancy boots that came running through here. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Dragging his silly apostle skirts behind him like a broken wheel chain. Seemed like he was in a hurry. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Yeah, the grease mucks up Dabrak and Snoots. That's why we stay down here. Wouldn't want the constable to see you. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> your man headed west. Should be some oily footprints about. Follow those tracks and you'll find your fancy boots. I'm in your
your service. Chancellor beat you to it. Another find for your pack. Who are you? Another one of vile, sniveling agents. Gascon's gone. Now let me return to my mistress in peace. West, in the ventral terminus. He may have killed me, but he won't last long. He sealed his fate the moment he betrayed us. There existed a covenant between your Gascon, Clavicus Vile, and my mistress. But he broke it. Now he will drown in blood. Night mistress, I am coming.
Be gone, whoever you are. I sealed the door, and it shall remain sealed for as long as necessary. Questions? You think I'm foolish enough to let you in? No, this door will remain closed. I just need time to work this out, to smooth things over. Simple. Now leave me be. Who I keep counsel with is none of your concern. You are just like Faruni, so uptight, so naive. If you value your life, you'll leave this place now! to some celebratory sweets.
bedrock you'll never find me. something, are we? Well, that rusty heap has been gathering dust for decades. You may as well just give up.
me again. I me outside, all right? I promise I will explain everything. I know how this looks, but you have to understand. Those shadow cultists meant to slit my throat. I had to leave. My life was in danger. Don't you see that? Fine. I made a bargain with Clavicus Vile. I know. Questionable. Just hear me out. All he wanted was a key. If I got it for him, he'd make me the ruler of Clockwork City. Unfortunately, someone stole the key before I could deliver it. Some daft talking crows. After that terrible business with the Shadow, I returned to my office to think. I arrived just in time to see one of those disgusting birds make off with the artifact. I panicked and ran here to hide. On my life, I did not. I wanted to heal the city, not destroy it. If I had known, I swear I never would have gone through with it. Yes, my methods were unconventional, I admit it. But you have to understand, I didn't do this for me, I did it for the city. Look around, bloodthirsty fabricants, barren wastes, crumbling towers. This is all Sotha Seal's fault. He abandoned us. While he tinkers away in the Centralis, we scrape by eating nutriment paste and hiding from killer machines. Is that fair? Should we thank him for that? My eyes are open. The people of Clockwork City deserve better. I thought so. Look, bartering with Clavicus Vile was unwise, I know. Offering Daedric artifacts to Dark Princes, it was a mistake. Even so, I can be a useful ally. I know our enemy better than anyone. You need me. You've made the right choice. Take me back to the Brass Fortress. I will admit to my crimes. Perhaps I can help you in due course. Once we arrive at the Basilica, I can explain everything to Veruni. Chancellor you Gascon. Should... Oh no. Luciana, just let shut me explain. Shut that lying mouth of yours or I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Thank you for digging this traitorous mongrel out of the Terminus. Veruni wants to speak with you back at the Basilica. quality there.
Stendar keep me safe. And my coins in my purse. You have no right to treat me like this. I'm a member of House Lalu, and I demand to speak to... to... to someone. Your house? Ah, yes, I remember. The Great Houses. The antiquated hierarchy of authority which the Dark Elves chain themselves with. What? I won't take this disrespect. Show me to someone of authority. Do you truly believe that is the way of things here? Reading array corrupted. Please try again. I told you what I know, Varumi. I'm trying to make this right. Welcome back. I was just having a little chat with former Chancellor Gascon. He insists he's told me everything, but I know him well enough to know he's still hiding something. Honestly, I can barely stand to look at him. Typical Gascon, always trying to oil his way out when his plots fall apart. What did he tell you? Any specific leads we can follow up on? The Congress of Calibration thanks you for your service. And on a personal note, I applaud your mercy. Gascon's an insufferable traitor, but he's still an apostle. Lord Set always said we should take care of each other. Take this, and my thanks. Obviously, we need to recover this mysterious key. I don't know where it is, or what it does, but if Daedric Princes intend to mount an invasion over it, we can't afford to let it slip through our fingers. Gascon insisted that Talking Crows stole the key from him, right? We should start with them. According to the constables, the birds started stealing things as soon as they arrived. I've never seen a crow before. Is that sort of thing unusual? Hmm. Well, the fact that they arrived so soon after you revealed the shadow is suspicious. But they seem more interested in simple mischief than anything else. Ask around the Chancel of Transaction. Perhaps one of our constables can tell you more. The sermons never prepared us for something like this. Perhaps...
right to treat me like this. I'm a member of House Lalu, and I demand to speak How to dare you, Kamid? Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because of that, my steeds are the greater to her fortune. Why can't you see? See what? what? That following the predictions of the deluded respect. machine got my Show mother me killed? Show someone of authority. Now! Do you truly Go on, get out of here. We go where we please, wingless. Go away, or we peck out your eyes. Eyes? Ah, sweet, juicy eyes. Such flavor. Ah, tender bits. Vile beasts. Come to gawk at the birds. Just keep those heels spring-loaded, friend. The big one there nearly pecked an apostle's ear off. She said it was due for a replacement anyway, but even so, I'm sure it didn't tickle. <laughs> well, may Sothasil bless your attempt. Honestly, if you got them to stop bickering and babbling for even a moment, I'd probably slip a spring. Other than everywhere, the loudest gather around a tree just outside the Basilica. I assume those are the ones you're after? Now listen, they'll demand some kind of ridiculous tribute, I guarantee it. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I pity the factotum that has to clean his holy likeness up there. I've never seen so many droppings in one place. to the Black Feather Court. The Duke claimed it by law and sovereign roost. Look for shiny somewhere else. Go! Go! Spy! No talking! I know a spy when I see one. The Exarchs of Dross may share meat with featherless giants, but not the Black Feather Court. In wartime, only spies approach without tribute. Every bird knows that. Tribute! Yes! Shinies for the Duke! We demand a treasure from our enemy, the metal man who shouts at us, Constable Drados. May his tail droop and his wings wither. Snatch up his silver treasure, and then we parlay. Go! Perhaps he carries a treasure beneath his clickety-clanking clothes. Or maybe he hides treasure away in the stone nest called Cloisters. That is for you to find out, Featherless. Now go! Who's back? Just couldn't turn the key with those birds, eh? Don't be too hard on yourself. At least you've still got all your fingers. I told you they'd ask for something. A silver treasure. Oh, of course! They want my canteen. <laughs> those daffy birds sent you after a pewter canteen. Well, they can't have it. Sorry, mate, but I'm not about to give those scavengers anything. Fine, but this had better work. If these vermin are still filching our tools and tableware in a week's time, I'll know who to blame. Finest quality merchandise. Praise Vivek! You were there to stop Alexandra Cannell from capturing the Coral Heart. Shinies? 
Speak, spy! Such sparkle and shine! The shouting metal man gave you this treasure willingly? Why? Ah! He quails at the might of the court and wishes to surrender! Yes! Yes, we accept! A fitting prize, this canteen! Perhaps you are a worthy crow friend after all! Ask your questions! Ask! A key? Yes! The great prize! The shiniest lock poker! Our heroic knight of marrow breached the gates and claimed it from the clumsy apostles and our exarch foes! The featherless ones squabble over its whereabouts, but they'll never find it! Never! No! Only our Duke of Crows knows. You cannot speak to him, Crow friend. Not without an escort. Find the Knight of Marrow. He is our grandest champion, sleek and strong. Honor him with shinies and sweet meats, and he may help. By a great waterfall, south and east, swooning like a lovesick dove, no doubt. Even now he builds his lady love a glorious nest. But she is fickle, and he is foolish. Go and talk to him. He needs adventure. How did you learn how to talk? We crows are clever and wise. Wise! We bend our words into sentences just as you do. Except we're better at it because we're smarter than you. to challenge the Knight of Marrow. Have at me, featherless foe. The apostles tarnished. It is all the same. If you be foe, cast down your silly gauntlet. But I warn you, you touch this magnificent trove at your peril. I gathered these treasures for my lady love, and I would sooner die than let you take them. What say you, featherless? The Duke holds court in Blackfeather Castle. I could arrange a meeting, but can't you see? Heartache has clipped my wings. Lady Blightwing spurns me. My heroic exploits and shiny gifts only bore her. Mine is a tale of woe. Woe! You would do that? But how? I gathered a great hoard of glistening treasures and sweetmeats, and she only laughed. Laughed! Perhaps a different gift. You featherless ones sometimes woo with song and verse, yes? Teach me. Yes, a poem. A trinket unlike any other. The flightless oafs who live here in the fortress hid a great hoard of words in one of their stone houses. If you help me pluck the tenderest verses, I will take you to see the Duke. Follow me. The word vault is this way. This way. Something. I'm sort of in the middle of this theorem, and uh, uh, yep, lost it again. Damn. Well, you got my attention now. What do you want? Love poem? 
by the gears. Why do you want one of those? I don't stray far from the mathematic spools nowadays, but I used to love the Ballad of Breezebra, the Battle Axe. <laughs> Might not be the sweetest verse, but it'll get your blood pumping. Spool. By the word of Set, I am bound. Welcome to the Archivox, resident. How may I assist you? Just a moment. Category not found. Your request, love poem, does not appear in our organizational schema. I regret that I was not able to help you today. Please report this deficiency to the archivist in residence. Dreaming. These carry flowers. Empty cylinder. Thank you for your patience. This unit has generated an original composition based on your inquiry. Love poem. Please claim your word form at school 17. Poem. A collection of thematically appropriate statements and metaphors arranged in stanzaic sequence, including title and required punctuation. Yes, this unit has composed a poem. I hope it meets your specifications. May Set bless your labors. Welcome to the Archivox, where all children of Sotha Seal may hear his divine word. What can I help you with? A love poem? Oh, where to begin? I have so many favorites. Perhaps the Song of the Axel. Or are you looking for something more conventional? Ode to Brass Lily might please you. It's over on Spool 19. quiver with inspiration. Tell me, have you found a poem worthy of Lady Blightwing? Well, which one should I use to woo my sharp-eyed love? Hmm. Yes, perfect. Let's do that one. I can't wait to express my feelings in the sweaty, fat-legged, wingless tradition. Follow me to the machine district, squire. You can finally meet my lady love. And the duke, too, I guess. To the castle of my lady love. Take a breath mm. and report. I bet I can What's bang the, the dent for my armor right while we're in town. Grim, Proctor. Daedric beasts and shadow cultists control much of the district. And the crows, oh, God. the sky's thick with them. This way, Squire! Come! Come! Varuni's auxiliary? What are you doing here? First that bastard Devaith, and now the crows? Your taste in companions grows worse by the hour. Sorry, we're having a very bad day. You mean to enter the machine district? Why? Hmm. Normally, I'd say we should simply kill them all and take the key by force. But it seems these birds have a real talent for hiding things. Daedra and cultists tossed the district for hours, and from what we can tell, they didn't find anything. Fine. You can play their ridiculous game. 
For now. But I'm coming with you. I've lost enough citizens already. A word of advice. Don't let these Daedric pests push you around. We need to learn the nature of this key before it's too late. No! Your metal woman is not allowed in Castle Blackfeather. I forbid it! I don't want to go anywhere near your filthy castle vermin. Let's get this over with. Keep your sword arm wound tight. Daedra could still be lurking around here. Cruel mother, help me. My fair maiden of ruin, my heart swells to see you, like a dead cat's belly warmed by the sun. My passions burn with forbidden desire. Love! Given cruel voice by the charred flesh of my enemies? Charred flesh? Burning passions? It's all true, my dearest love. I would feed you the flesh of a thousand burnt carcasses if you would only give me the chance. Of course, Sir Knight. How could I refuse such honeyed words? I feel a swoon coming on. She said yes! I owe you a debt, crow friend. Duke! Duke! May I present the featherless poet? Approach, poet! Let me get a measure of you. Hail, crow friend, to my great knight of marrow. You come to parley? What boon do you seek from the Black Feather Court? The shiniest? The great prize? Outrageous! What could you possibly offer us that rivals the luster of the magnificent Lock Poker? Speak quickly! Speak! My knights and I must prepare for our next battle with the Exarchs of Dross! You would take up the Black Feather banner? Tempting! The Exarchs use wingless allies to shoot down my vassals and scatter my treasures. But if we had a giant of our own, 